In this video, I would like to show you how to create a PostgreSQL instance with Docker. Nevertheless, if you have already installed one on your local machine, then you can just simply skip this video. Let's start everything by opening the desktop for Windows application. And it may take a second until it is working. You will see that by this green bar. Right here we can navigate through the containers and images that we have installed on our computer. As you can see, I have already installed, downloaded technically, Postgres image. Nevertheless, let's open up Windows PowerShell and I will show you how to do the same using commands. So, if you would like to see what images do we have on our local machine, this is the docker images command that you should use. Docker ps is used to verify what containers do we have working now. As you can see, the list is empty. So in order to run Postgres, let's start with docker run minus minus name. Let's name it up Postgres. Additionally, let's expose 543 tool, which is the default Postgres port, 543 tool of our local machine to 543 to port of the container. Additionally, to set the Postgres password, password will add an environment variable to our container. Let's stick with the password by default a user called Postgres will be created. Finally, let's do that in the detached mode, which means that it will be running in the background, not taking our uh, window here. And Postgres. Let's verify now with Docker PS. And as we can see, if we will hit the local host with this port, will be redirected to the 5432 port of our container. With that being done, let's open up dbver and set up a new connection. Okay, close, let's make it full. Right here, let's select PostgreSQL, hit next. Host will be localhost and the port is the default one, which is correct here. Database called Postgres and password was password. To verify, we can hit test connection and we can see that everything is correct. So let's hit finish. As the next step, let's create a new table. I'll call it app user and populate with some data. To do so, let's navigate right here right mouse button, SQL editor, open SQL script. I would like this table to contain three columns, ID, name, and a unique email. So let's go with create table, app underscore user, and add ID serial, not no, sorry. Uh, we don't have to specify not null. This will be provided out of the box when using serial. Nevertheless, I would like this one to be marked as primary key. As the next one, name, text, not null. When it comes to the email, except of text and not null, I would like this one to be unique as well. Let's remember about this semicolon and hit run. Let's navigate to Postgres schemas, public, tables. So far we don't see anything, so let's find the refresh. Now we can see that the app user table was generated. When we go right here, we can see the ID, name, email, and the appropriate types. When I switch to the data, I will not see anything because we haven't populated it yet. To do so, let's get back to the script and Let's add new data. So insert into into app user values. The first one I would like to go with is id1 Piotr and email Piotr at codercy.com. The second value, let's copy maybe this line. Control C, Control V, 
right here the semicolon as well and we will have to change this data john and for instance another at coder c now i'll select this statement and hit run we can see that we've updated two rows uh, technically we didn't have to specify the identifier in other case it would be generated automatically let's get back right here to our app user table and hit f5 now we can see that these data were populated correctly and that's all for this video in the next one i'll show you how to connect our spring boot application to this database